all right hey guys it is now the next day and it is now part two i have not touched anything like at all so we're just going to leave this the way it is spread out the dirt and we'll use the rotator This will be the rotator's first crunch after refurbishment. I'm gonna try not to touch my jeans today because my jeans are black and I don't want them to get very dirty and I've actually already touched them and they already have a little spot on them. So I'm gonna try not to do that today because you see me all the time wiping my hands on my jeans. See if stuff is getting stuck on the cyclone. Okay, one quarter. Now I want to try to push this down because I don't want stuff stuck in the cyclone and getting. Someone's about to punch me. Someone's about to punch me. Don't you touch me. Someone's here. I guess it's. They definitely heard me talking and vacuuming, so I can't say that I'm not home. I still want to get some of this over here. Oh, whoops.
I'll have to say I'm impressed. I think with the new filter, even though it's clearly dirty, quite dirty, actually. Um, even though it's dirty, I think uh, uh, since the filters have given it more suction than the old ones, it's doing a better job at projecting that dirt up and out of the cyclone and into the bin. Because as you can see, I mean, I've, I've started to not go over huge clumps with sharks anymore because I know it's going to get stuck in the cyclone. So as you can see, I was kind of going slower and over smaller clumps and I tried to spray spread out the, the dirt more. So that's what I've been doing with sharks now and it's been turning out pretty good. Um, that's what I did with the MV3 Type 2 and that crunch all over the garage video. Um, you know, that clogged up the, the shark. It's actually more dirt, and, uh, you know, I, I had no problem in that video, um, sucking up all that, but in the video where I did it with the hose, it was actually more dirt than that, um, because I had sucked up a little bit more, and then it got clogged quite bad. So, you just go over sharks, go over dirt with sharks, not as much. The cyclone will work but it's still inefficient, so. And now this hose, this handle, the handle is um, loose. So, I'm gonna do it again with the shark, because that's what I did with the Ultima, I did it twice. Actually, I'm gonna dump it out at the top. Well, that's not really spread out. Let me get the broom. See, it's not that much crunch when you look at it in a huge volume, but when you spread it out, it's it's a good amount. It's not it's not too. It's I mean it could be more, but it's not bad that it's not a ton. Okay, let's do that again. down that dirt in the bin so it'll make more room. See, now we have quite a lot more room.
And actually, I'm gonna do a little bit more because I have a little extra crunch in a little um, container. So, sorry, I'm just making my tripod smaller. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just doing this and I'm going to squish down the dirt in the bin really quick and then we'll do that with hose. Also, with the rotator, I feel like you don't need a crevice tool. Not like, no, like for normal use. Cause like, the, the things are quite narrow. Like this, this is a dec this is decent. Like if I'm cleaning a room, I do it going around the edges, I'm gonna use this because that's kind of narrow and I can do the edges quite well. So I don't actually need a crevice tool on this vacuum, but that's just my opinion. Okay. So I'm, I'm noticing that, yeah, it is, you know, quite, the filter is quite dirty, but there's not much large debris on here. So, I mean, yeah, there is some, but it's doing better than most sharks. So I think because I replaced the filter, it has more airflow. So it can actually, you know, okay. So all the coins are still in the cyclone. And actually, I want to try and see if I can redo the coins. See if I can get them to fly up out of the cyclone. Oh, this is kind of dusty. Trying to get it out of the entrance hole. And that one pen should get sucked up. stuck in the cyclone. Oh no, they're not, never mind. too and uh yeah with the rotator this is the cleaned rotator um and it's actually in pretty good condition now and ready for another long life actually i want to see oh no can anyone date this shark for me if not i'll just call 
Sure, because I don't. I think the Rotator came out around 2013, 2014, or 2015. I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Let's see. It's model NV520. Is there a serial number? I don't. I don't see a serial number. No, I don't see a serial number. But, I don't know, is there any way that I can date this vacuum? Let me know, because I want to see when this one is from. I believe this is, I mean, it's, it's obviously not a new one made in the last one or two years, obviously, because it has the old shark badge. Um, so, yeah, let me know when this one is made, because I really want to know. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.